Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is the rise of a nation, it's episode 140. Today we will have Olympically on in the second knockout round of the Europa League. If you haven't watched last episode, you would have seen it was a Bruges win over two legs. We won the first leg 1-0 before during in the second leg 0-0. For those in the Twitch chat, because we are live for this episode, links down below. You already know through Discord, link also below, um, that we did a YouTube-only game. If you want to go see how we fared in that, because it's pretty interesting to see how we talked about the new tactic. And I do recommend if you haven't seen a new 4 3 3 the, um, how we set it up, um, you know, that episode will definitely show you how things are going. There's one thing I have noticed, and it's not something to do with uh, a tactic or anything, but with the match engine. Um, I went to go watch the Lingeby game back um, again this morning, um, but, you know, as in every highlight, we on a key did not see two shots from six yards that the keeper saved miraculously and a ball hit the post in that game. So for me, I'm thinking that the key highlight is only the highlight that either goes in or it's like, um, you know, or it's like, it's hit the, even then, I missed one that hit the post. Um, it was, you know, I find that weird. So for today's episode, I am going to trial out extended highlights in the first leg. If I feel like it's like way too long um, and or pointless, I will go back to key. But after watching that back and me creating like 17 chances, no goals, I then watched me hit the post and the keeper pulled off two great saves. I'm like, hang on, why am I not seeing that in my key highlights? So we are going to go with the extended highlights here today. Now, in terms of the, the results, the last time we've seen each other, we did beat OB 4-0. Um, I think that was more down to the fact that once we got the first one, which took us some time, um, OB kind of just were like, uh, okay, we're going to come after you. And once they came after me, kind of just picked them off because we had the quality. Last score, we then scored a set piece and last scored another one, which I think was from another set piece as well. I feel like in this system, we're not scoring as much from open play, but we are scoring um, from set pieces, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, look, if you look at the run in, you know, into these games, you know, we have not yet to concede. Um, and we're not scoring many goals at all, apart from a Division three side and OB who kind of came after us after 1-0 and they got a little bit unlucky on the with the set pieces. Olympic Lyon, however, are a team that are on fire in Ligue 1. When I mean on fire, they are fourth. They were third when I last looked at them. They just beat PSG in the semi-final of the French Cup on penalties. And then they just drew 3-3 free free to Brest, which we have loaned Yepi Hansen out to as well. And he did play in that game, did Yepi. Um, you then have them obviously home and away, and they do have PSG in the middle. I think with that the being the fact that, that PSG is in the middle of those games, they haven't, you know, they haven't won in their last two, but they did beat PSG in a penalty shootout. I do think we may have the upper hand on them. Um, it is naive to me thinking that we are going to beat Leon um, as well, though, in this system, because I think we're going to create chances and have a bit of the ball, but I also think that we're not going to score. Now, the chat I asked for their prediction, um, and Berger's gone 3-0, rosie has gone 4-0, and Dimson's the only prediction that I kind of see happening is 2-1. I'm actually going to predict that we're going to concede our first goal in this system, we're going to draw 1-1, and then I'm going to predict, and I know it's going to pay me to do this, we're going to lose 0-0 in France, we're going to get knocked out. Now, look, if that happens, I've been pretty salty with how we got out the Champions League in the last couple of episodes. Episodes. I've been pretty angry today. Yeah, what's the matter? So I don't know what channel to do there. Sorry, who cares? Um, that's hard, that's in the in the middle of an episode. Thanks, mum. Um, I've lost my train of thought. What the fuck was I saying? Mother, hello. Thank you. Um, 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 something about the game. I can't remember. Oh, thanks, mum. I'm not going to cut this out either. It will come to me. Yeah, exclamation, mum, in chat. If you want to see all this madness happen live, Twitch down below. Come follow it. Um, I reckon, yeah, we're going to draw 1-1 one, one here. We're going to concede our first ever goal. And then in the Leon, we're going to play well. And we're going to switch 4-4-2 four, four, or 4-1-3-2 four, or four, um, one, three, after playing 4-3-3. Three, three, and we're not going to score at all. And we're going to lose and be out. Um, and we're going to go out on away goals. Um, the only reason why I say that is I haven't gone on a run of form like this without conceding for, in, on FM21 at all. Um, this is the first time we've gone and probably stretched like five or six games without conceding in, in competitive games. Second reason is is that I just think the game has it out for me in the knockout competitions in Europe, and I think we're going to go out, personally. Um, I know it's not a good way to think, but it is the way that I'm thinking, and yeah, it, it is what it is, and so be it as well. Now look, the team itself is very easy to pick. Last quarter hat-trick, last game in the league, that was nine days ago, so we're going to play him. And apart from that, the rest of the team's pretty good. A bad bloom. Ferreira, by the way, has come in and looked amazing. At six foot two, he plays a lot taller than what he does. He's played three league games, a couple in the um, a couple gets his former side, has yet to taste 
a goal going in against him. Wrenching Ibe, Gildo, Ronald, and Hannibal's in because of the injury to Nildo. You would have seen he is out for this one. And he may be out for the second leg. Jefferson, and I've gone with the experience of Jose over Carlos with Lars up top. I've got Wurtz on the bench in the 4 4 2 if we need to go to it. I've got Carlos left and right. I've got actors that can come into the middle in the 4 4 3 if we need to, or we can put him in the middle of the path over Hannibal. And we've got Soma Reeve as a more defensive option. Mulgaard and Sam Hillian with Leafy on the bench. It's a massive old game, this one here. And they are actually missing a couple players before I forget as well. Um, uh, they are missing two big players. They are missing um, a Lonnie from Barcelona in Zurich, Zurich um, because he's broken his lower, he's fractured his lower leg. He's probably going to miss both games. Um, and Davies pulled his hamstring and he's there starting right back. And I think the game will perceive us as favourites. And I think that there's more... Tick the, there's more things tick the boxes here that we have a bit of an easier run in between the games and the easier run into this game and we haven't had to pay extra time. I think there's a lot of things that tick this boxes that we do win this tie. I just think because of how European football's gone on this save and it's another perceived big team playing against us where I think we're going to play well and dominate. I just don't think we're going to score and we're going to cop one somewhere. And at some point we're going to have to concede and I think this will be it. And unfortunately, I feel it be disastrous to concede at home in a knockout stage. Hopefully, it proves me wrong. Hopefully, we don't concede for the rest of the year. We go in the Europa League and great. Everything's dandy. Do I think that's going to happen? I don't know. Um, I also will say this is my first game on stream. We do have a history of drawing slash losing the first game stream in big games. I usually try and make sure I play a league game first just to get rid of like any bad juju or anything. I'm not a big believer in like um, all that sort of stuff. But uh, apparently, it seems to happen a lot here as well. I'm going to tell him that they're right to back you up. I will go and tell Lars he has the difference in him as well. And I am going to go into the tactics screen. And we are going to just press the midfield as we normally do. Um, see, I don't want to really plus lad land him. I'm going to leave it as it is. That could really regret that as well. Um, Martin Vanderbilt, very good keeper. He is still looking pretty good. Apart from his speed, he's very good. Moha out there on the right-hand side. Um, he's a little bit more limited, and hence why the injury for them at right back could be huge. Um, Alvin was a guy I was actually looking at to get in at centre back. He's a bit shorter, so maybe we can do something in the air against him. But a very good Australian centre back. Good to see him. Stefan, the other centre back on the other side, is a Serbian international. He looks pretty good on loan from Hertha Berlin. And Ignacio on the other side as well is a very strong fullback. Um, can go forward as well and looks pretty decent. Um, Wouver Mullen is one of those really technically gifted sort of Belgian midfielders that you always see come out. He's been capped a lot of times. He looks fantastic. And Ali on the other side, the Brazilian, has only been capped three times by Brazil, but still looks pretty good as well. On the right-hand side, they have the Kazakhstan or Kazik. Um, winger there, um, he looks pretty good and played over 100 caps internationally as well. Saints through the middle is a Spanish player that's never been played for Spain. He looks fantastic, though, to be fair. Um, Jorge uh, Ruters looks like an elite winger. He's their key player and he's fantastic. And up top is Landim, a guy that I've nearly signed a couple of times. He were 57 million and a great striker. Um, Alex Delarome on the bench. Alfonso Davies at a very old age is on the bench. If the game wants to show me Alfonso Davies, that would be great. Uh, he still looks very good, Alfonso Davies at 35. Josselu Lou on the bench, uh, bench as well looks pretty good. Vega is another pretty decent striker. Um, Juan looks very good as a super sub too. Jesus is an attacking fullback that isn't particularly great. And that's another one as well. So I think what I would say is that their squad pound for pound may be slightly better because of the experience that it has, and they play in a better division, but we have a better bench than them. Um, so I feel like this game stays new for a long time. We have the better players to call upon the go here. We are going to press the midfielders, as I always do, and I'm going to leave let him not being pressed. I don't know if that's going to be something that does happen here or not. Hopefully we go out there and we play well. Into the tunnel we go. I don't think we're too bad. We're going to try and play our normal game. 99% um, of footballs don't particularly care. I enjoy these matches a lot. So does everybody else. And we are underway here. It is SFB in Denmark, baby. You know anything's possible here. And we are in the white. Olympic Leon going to be in the grey, playing in the 4 2 3 1 versus the 4 3 3. It's going to be all about how well we can control the middle of the park and how much they can break on us, I do believe. I think if we keep more than 60% of the ball for the majority of this game, we will be a okay. I'm also going to move this to the extended highlights. And away we go. We have a highlight here for Leon and Ali with a ball inside to Woots, tackled by Bloom. Jose Ramiun now gets on it, and he can play a ball in the Lars's feet, who came in short, apparently ignored him, and now he's going on a bit more of a run. And he's still beating men at will. No numbers in the box. In the end, his ball in is coming twice, cuts it back towards Hannibal. He's top of the box. Ronald wants to hit it. Ibe hits it! And inside five minutes, we lead, and it's one new SFB. Unreal! Jordan Ibe doesn't score many, but he scores one then. Jordan Ibe, it's Lewis Ibe. 
Liverpool, ex Liverpool player. Um, but we won new up here against Leon. That is fantastic. Good build up play. Jose Ramion, what a run. Ronald gives it to Ibe. I wanted Ronald to shoot. In the end, Ibe shoots and scores. I'm surprised it's not offside against Lars because we see they get given a lot on FM. But it's 1 0. I'm not complaining. And Ibe, the reason why we rejected so many big bids for him has been because he's a very good inverted wing back on the left hand side. And we are 1 0 up. Seven minutes in, it's another highlight here for Leon and Van den Root now with the ball can go long and he does. Can we win a header here? We do. A Gildo Hannibal. We're good on the ball here. Let's see what we can do. Ronald now has Ibe inside of him and has Jefferson wide. And that's why I like this season because it gives us so many options. And Jefferson now can come inside. He can whip a ball. He can do something. Cuts it. Ibe. Second effort blocked. Hannibal, what a save from Van der Root to keep it at 1-0. If it wasn't for the keeper, it was 2. And we are all over him inside the first 10 minutes. And I tell you what, it really could have been Ibe volleys over. It really could have been 2. A fantastic save from a world-class goalkeeper. In Van Root, or however you pronounce it, he's you usually getting really cheap on his saves. It's 2036, and he still looks this good. Anyway, Bloom, not cheap. Uh, you know, you get him because he's a wonder kid on your saves. Anyway, I, but Gildo now, still on the ball. And this is the options we have. Jefferson now, looking for runners. Bloom, Hannibal hits in the end straight at the keeper. And it is a very good start from us indeed. And I do guess by playing on extended, we get to see more of these chances as well. As you can see, 60% of the ball, and we have had everything in this game. Backstick ball, Hannibal misses it. And Laddam heads to no one in particular. And Gildo's there. We had three at the back. They had everyone in the box. Wow. And now Ibe needs to pick a pass. Can't afford to lose the ball here, Ibe. Wrenching now. I'll play it back to Ferreira, and we go out the other side. This is where we need Jose to go with that bit wider. He didn't. Bloom now. Lars goes for goal. Blocked. And in the end, it is gone, and it's still 1-0. And we are all over them at the minute. Leon, really not to trouble us here inside 20 minutes. We are dominating this game in the 4-3-3, and that's exactly what you want to see in this system. My only issue is that we've dominated so much, and we are yet to you know, put the game 2-0 up, and not to bed, but you know, put us in a commanding position. 31 minutes played, and Bloom will throw into the box. Jose even knocks it back to him, and he can whip a ball here, and he does. Hannibal doesn't win the header, and this is where I think they're going to hurt us, is they've got us on the break here, and Jorge is good. Aguildo fouls him. In the end, he got up and continued on. He's still going in the end. He fires wide. A moment of brilliance from the elite winger, but it's a moment of individual brilliance. Um, and, you know, in the end of the day, Aguildo got away with the tackle then, and he didn't get booked. Seven shots fire for us in the half. They yet to put a shot on target. But at 1-0, everything's a bit dangerous and whatever. And my 1-1 prediction is still is on for this first leg. Um, hopefully, it just, just stay like this and we keep another clean sheet. I'm delighted with that, though, boys. So far, so good. Second half, highlight from kickoff. You never like to see it. And Van der Voot is going to go long, is he? Or is he going to go short? He does go long. Can we win it? Ibe does. Jefferson, turn. No, play back now or into the middle or no highlight. Maybe because it's on extended, we saw that. They've had four chances, though. Now, you get to put one on target. You watch their first one on target. It's going to fly in, isn't it? Throw in now. 50 minutes played. Bloom. Oh, why is Bloom taking it on this side of the field? Makes no sense. Who's that right back? I do not like that. I saw that. Hannibal now making the run. Lars, make the run. Oh, my God. Hannibal's got himself blocked. And now Horge is going to go. No, it's an end of the highlight, but another highlight here. And Aguildo wins. Ronald now. Jose Ramiund still with the ball. Still going. Bloom. Ball over. Jefferson now. Can he get there? Can he do something? A bit of magic, maybe. Cuts it. Oh, will he shoot again? He does. It's over. Look, we're creating a lot of chances here. 50 odd minutes played. It is looking really good so far. 11 shots, 5 on chance. Five on target, but it's a throw-in for them deep in their half, and Moe can whip a ball. Jefferson tackles, it falls back to him. Van der Moulin, run out. Ronald tackles, and it falls back to him. But Moulin all the way back here to Tucson. In the end, that's a win. The fact they fell back to him twice, that's ludicrous there. And in the end, if they score from this, we can really claim a little bit of cheese. Van der Root now, though, with the ball, all the way back with the keeper, and it's Simikovic on it. Now this is where we need good shape and not allow him between the lines. Then Moulin, Moa. We're doing well here. Just to keep him penned in, but that's a good ball out. Now they can run of us here with the Kazakhstani. And Ladam is in. Big chance for Ladam. In the end, he didn't shoot. He's wheeled back around. He now lays it out to the top of the box. I don't like this at all. Sainz hits. A bad makes a great save. Their first shot on target is parried over the bar by a bad. And in the end, that was Leon's best chance of football. It all stems, though, from two tackles that fell back to him. Ball in, Ferreira heads away. He's very good at doing that as well. The centre back from Bruges. And in the end, the Kazakhstani going on. And that's not a place you want to feel it. Fowler, Gildo, or Ramon, or whoever it was. And it's now a free kick in a dangerous area. And Leon all of a sudden starting to dominate. Could have won the ball there. We don't. Jorge, ball topped. Cut away by Ren Sheng. Lars now. 
got options here. Jose Ramayun, numbers ahead of him. Whoever that is ahead of him, slip him, slip him. Oh my God, why have you not slipped him? He now plays Hannibal, his efforts wide. If he played him earlier, it would have been one-on-one. -on -one. By that stage, they able to get two around him. And Jose Ramayun, big chance, goes begging. Throw in here, Ferreira. I, where have you cleared that to? Don't know why. Well, if we concede here, that's a pen. That's a pen. It's in the box. Fuck me, man. Happened outside the box. Wow. Don't know what that was in that highlight there. We could have been tuned out. We could have been tuned out a few times. This is why I don't like this system. Is only because we just don't score. Man, I could have just pressed 10 seconds here. To me, that, to me, that's just in. To me, that's just in. Uh, we reverse the camera. Sure, to me, he's in. Uh, Hannibal's foot is outside, but contact's been inside, isn't it? To me, that's a pen. We've got away with one there. That is inside the box, and they've given an outside VAR. By that much too, as if that ball's not on the line. That is ridiculous. They score from this. Can't complain, really. Ball in, Renchen clears. Large, you don't want it. If Lars has made a half a yard, then we don't do any of that. We are starting to lose this midfield battle, which is not what I like. And there's another stupid foul. Can we stop fucking giving away free kicks in needless areas? 64 minutes played. It, I don't know how to change this game. I don't know how to change this game. Because at the minute, Leon deserve a goal. This game is slipping away from us. Forge now. Still going. Chips it. There we go. Ball over. They got 2v1. Well, they did in the end. Still do now. Oh, I tackle falls back to him. The Kazakhstanis in. His efforts wide. Hannibal apparently is having a not great game. I'm going to get Musa in. A little bit of energy in the middle of the park. And I'm going to get Carlos in for Jefferson because he's on a booking. Nah, Jefferson buys a goal. I'm going to put him on the other side here for Jose. Carlos a bit explosive. 65 minutes in, we might get him to run at someone. Time ticks away. A lot of their shots have come in that last 10-minute period. Now that we made a change, hopefully it quiets down a little bit. 70 minutes played. The Kazakhstani boy, because I can't pronounce his name. Bull in the Saints. A Gildo here. The Kazakhstani. Oh, my God. There was anyone there that just scored. There wasn't. Ignacio. Oh, it's a save and a half. Forge effort, a bad saves, 70 minutes played. It is all Olympic Leon. Part of me wants to go 4-4-2 and just give him something different to look at. Part of me wants to go 4-4-2 and just say, hey, nah, we're going to start trying to really dominate this game. But at the same stage, 1-0 would be good. Not a bad save at all. Time ticks. We get to the 80th minute now. It's another highlight. I feel like if we go 4-4-2 and we concede, it's my fault. But the reason why is the 4 3 is just getting pummeled at the moment. But this is where we need Carlos. The, su the super sub is on. The Argentinian wonder kid making a run through the middle. Needs an option from somebody. Lars tackled. Falls towards Jefferson. Ball in the box, buddy. Or not. Now top of the box to Ibe. Ball. Musa. Bloom. Ronald. Someone has to have a shot in the end. No one did. A Gildo now. Bloom. Lars. Needs a runner. Carlos. Chance. 2-0. We probably don't deserve that one. But we do not care. It's 2 0. Let's go. Ronald Aguildo in the bloom, into Lars, back out to Carlos, and he fires under the keeper's legs. And Carlos, the super sub, the one, the kid, the man that is the reason why Ismail's on loan, has come off the bench and scored. And with time ticking away, we just need to keep a clean sheet here. We're in a prime position to make a quarter final. Carlos, Bloom, ball in, cleared away. I feel like this game's gone on forever as well because of the extended highlights, but I feel like we see a bit more of it. Musa going on a run, get in the box, doesn't. Bloom now, go drive. Musa, Bloom, got to find an option. Oh my God, what a save from Van der Voet. See, that highlight there you would not have seen on key. And I feel like that's a big highlight to see in the end. A great effort from I, but a great save from their keeper. Keeps it at 2-0. I actually think we prefer this. I prefer it on extended because I get to see what's actually going on in this system. Carlos now with the ball. Top of the box. Ronald knows how to hit him. Doesn't. A Gildo. Jefferson was offside anyway. Oh, would have counted apparently. It's a goal kick. Wow, big miss from Jefferson. In the end, 88 minutes. A goal for Leon would be massive. 
Can we just see this out? Ronald Lars, can we turn? Can we go? We've got one more sub up my sleeve. Time wasting so. Lars now. Carlos. Runners. Bloom. Inside. Got to cut it. Oh my. Surely he cut that, right? Like, right now, surely you're playing whoever that is. Musa, just slip him in the Musa. Musa's in. Goal. Oh, buddy. Right. Time wasting change. Wurtz is going to come in for Lars. Just in case we get one on the break, we've got the speed of Wurtz and maybe get us one. Time ticks away. 91st minute. It's a set piece. We don't like these. Ball, top of the box. And now, Jorge, the cross from a wider advantage corner sweat fest time it's a corner late doors 90 second minute ball in cleared up by Ren Sheng this is where we need words to like drop in and pick that ball up buddy the Mulan now Simi Simi Kovic the Mulan ball Ren Sheng a Gildo Sheng a Gildo and in the end if you're going to put it over the top put it into oh my god words could have got that they didn't know what they were doing Time's still ticking away. This, this is the problem of extended right here. I feel like we need something in between extended and key. Davies now. Going on a run. Fonzo Davies block. Falls to Josh Lute. Oh my, that just passed the post. They scored like that. I would have been livid. Time ticks away here. Surely no highlight FM. 95th minute highlight. Bloom. Carlos. Surely it's only for us to score from here. Bloom now. Carlos. Beat your man. Does. Musa hits it. Oh, my. It would have been the icing on the cake. It would have been 3-0 right on full time. In the end, it's 2-0. And it's an SFB win, ladies and gentlemen. It is superb. And it's 2-0. 17 shots, 7 on target, a 1.88. Kind of dominated the game. Apart from the 10-minute period from probably the 55th to the 65th minute where Leon were on top of us. Up until I think we brought Musa on. Once we brought Musa on, I feel like the game, not because Musa change the game defensively or anything, but it just gave us a bit more energy where Hannibal was probably losing his legs, his aging legs a little bit, and that gave us a bit more of the midfield dominance. But in the end, 2-0, a great win, and that is superb. We take a 2-0 lead to France, and that's another clean sheet, and I'm very happy with that. Um, would rather not discuss it. I don't care about the referee. That's 2-0, and it's good. Bayern beat OJ Nees. Celtic beating Chelsea is massive. Atletico pumped Milan, um, and Juve won it as well. Sevilla and Stuttgart drew. Roma beat Sparta Prague and PSV and Norwich drew. Norwich in the Europa League. That's interesting. I wonder how they've got there. Um, in the end, um, we do win the game. I am going to do this press conference. We are going to stay live as well. How long did that take? So we've been filming for 22 minutes. Interesting. Um, we are going to stay live because the draw for the quarterfinal semifinals is tomorrow. I don't know what I've clicked, but I'm glad I've clicked it. Um, and Broom is out of the second Leon clash. That ain't good as well. We got Hillian for a reason. This is why he'll play. Um, but yeah, it was I was outstanding. Yeah, he was. Um, we'll find a way to handle the situation. It's as simple as that. Got to continue on here into the quarterfinal, semi-final draw of the Europa League. We're in the box seat. We've got Bromby in the middle. I feel like we're going to play that one on key for the string and links down below. Discord, everything like that is all there. And then we have Olympic Lyon. In the second leg of the knockout stage. And hopefully, just with us playing on this extended highlights, we see a little bit more how the game goes and we can make changes when needed. It's taking a little bit of time as the rain pelts down here in Adelaide again. Taking a little bit of time here to get to this, but that's fine. The 14th of March, don't particularly mind. Four in the inbox here. Uh, we set a new defensive record for the club. Seven games without conceding. I feel like our record kind of stood back when we were in League One, which is the division below here of the championship division here in Denmark because we uh, played against you know teams that weren't really of our calibre when we got promoted. But yeah, anyway, we're going to view the draw, the quarterfinal draw. We do, we, if we can avoid the Atletico Madrid um, or Milan tie, that would be great. The Chelsea Celtic tie. We want the PSV Norwich tie. How did Norwich make it here? They, they're they 11th from the champ. Oh my, they finished sixth in the Prem last year. Good luck to them. Well done, buddy. Um... Yeah, uh, there's a few teams we want to avoid. Roma, Sparta, Prague, Norwich, Sevilla, they're not bad. First out of the house, PV Norwich, we want this. We don't get it. Atletico and Milan go away, that's good. Next out is bloody Bayern and OJ Nice. We don't want that. We don't get it. We avoid, uh, we avoid Bayern. Now we just need to avoid Chelsea, who are behind on aggregate. 
So uh, Dynamo and Juve. If we could see Chelsea or and Celtic go out, that'd be great. Oh, we're going to get Juve, huh? Juve in the quarterfinal. That's a massive tie. And obviously, we're going to see obviously Celtic and Chelsea. Probably Chelsea play Roma. So we get Juve in a massive tie if we get through this. Um, that's not good. And now into the semi-final draw. We get PSV, Norwich, Atletico, or Milan plays Bayern. So we would avoid Atletico, Milan, Bayern. But we would run into either Chelsea, Roma, Celtic, or Prague to make the final. Obviously, we lost to Chelsea in the Europa League quarterfinal, um, uh, you know, five years ago. Uh, so, look, not the greatest draw. Juve, obviously, is still very good, and they're still top of the Serie A. I just don't understand how they are not in the Champions League. So I'm guessing they got, obviously, um, they got obviously done here in the uh, Champions League. Huh? Can I go to their schedule, please? How did they go in Group H? Oh, Lille did them in. Wow, really? Lille beat them to third. That is silly. They only beat Copenhagen home and away. Drew to Lille and they lost. So it looks like away from home. They don't play particularly good in the Europa League. Interesting. Um, but yeah, obviously, if we can make it that far, that would be great. We still have a job to do here, which is obviously to beat Leon in the second leg. We are in the box seat. We are yet to concede in quite a number of games now, and hopefully we can carry that on. A clean sheet in France, we go through. A goal in France, we're probably through too. And that will leave us with a blockbuster quarterfinal versus Juve to make the semi-final of the Europa League. Who knows? Let's dream big. Let's say that if we can keep doing this, we can win the thing. And just, you never know, with a little bit of luck, what can be achieved. But second leg action coming up in a second. Let me know as well. Extended or key highlights, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in a second. Don't go anywhere. Hello YouTube, welcome back, and we're not quite up to the Olympic Lyon game, but youth intake has happened, and I wasn't predicted for anything good, and every time it says, oh, you meant to get a decent prospect from so-and-so in this position, I never get anyone good. In the last, like, four or five years, you have not seen really anyone. I think your best one that you've seen that's come out of the youth intake has probably been, like, Kurt Agag, who's been like this, or, like, Finn, who's on loan, um, if you remember, you guys know Finn, you would have seen him, like, last year a couple of times. Uh, hurry up game Because I don't want this to be too long Because this episode's already getting long Like Finn, where are you Finn? Like Finn who's on loan Who looks pretty decent, well rounded and you know, But doesn't have the potential We have finally got one For all the good intake And all the good recruitment And all the good uh, everything that we've got We've finally got one in His name is Jacob He's a bit more an advanced playmaker and attack Or support But I think you get him in here You get him learning the advanced playmaker and attack and you get him growing, and this guy could be good. What I like about him is he's got good work rate, good vision, good teamwork, um, which I do love. He's also got good natural flair. I don't like that he doesn't have any good off the ball, any good passing, or any good physicals, um, but he's 15, so he can't play till he's 16 anyway. But that is a dub, boys. That is a dub, as dubby as dub can get. We are going to put him on a full-time contract for three years, give him a little bit more of that, remove that, suggest that, and look, just give me a three-year deal, and I'll give you even more and even more. Thank you, buddy. There we go. Jacob Fullenberg. We get a dub in the chat. Fullenberg right into our arms. Yeah, that's a great clip name, Rods. I love that. But yeah, me and the boys in the chat have gone ballistic. For the first time in ages, we have finally got a good youth intake. And it'll be interesting to see throughout the save how Jacob Fullenberg can maybe come into his way to do something really good for us. In saying that, though, if we won the Champions League the next two, three years, we may not have even got to see the kid, but hopefully he develops, he grows, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, this guy might be next level and be another one of the homegrown players to help us win the Champions League in the Rise of Nation save. See these guys in a second for the second leg against Lyon, where we lead 2-0. Welcome back, YouTube. It is time for the second leg against Lyon here. We obviously had just seen the Wonder Kid signing, or he's about to sign, I think. Anyway, I don't think he's actually... 100% accepted my contract just yet. Um, Jacob Fullenberg, he fell straight into my arms, as Rods would say. And, you know, Jacob is absolutely looking sensational. I cannot wait for him to obviously come on in as well, because I think he's going to be very, very good. In terms of everything else here, in terms of the um, Europa League, it, it's very simple for us. We know who we've got to get next, which is 99% sure it's going to be Juve. Uh, we just need to go do the job. Obviously, um, we were going to play Hillian in this game no matter what. He picked up an injection. Um, he picked up an injury and bruised his fire. I'm going to give him an injection here to get through this game. I am going to get Molgaard to the bench. He's not. He's starting. Okay, glad I saw that. Uh, we're going to get Molgaard to the bench um, as well just to cover this because Molgaard is actually 
a pretty accomplished inverted wingback on the left with a left foot. Hillian's double footed, and I think he just plays this well a little bit better. He's not the most aggressive one um, or most attacking, but I feel like we'll leave it the same. Then if we get to half time, you know, we might drop into an inverted wing back on defend. I'm going to go a bad Hillian Ferreira, Renshang, and Iber, Gildo, Ronald, Hannibal, Jose, Jefferson, and Lars. I'm also going to play this game in key. I'm just going to go when I go back with my editing and go see what's the difference. I do think we see more of the games, a bit more exciting and extended, and we also get to see a few more of the chances. And we just watched the game, which we do new and new against Bromby. We had two highlights, three highlights, the whole game on key. We did fully rotate. We had like everybody out. You can see Mulgaard was starting. So, like, yeah, we um hopefully we'll be all right, hopefully, in this game. Um, Mulgaard's pleased to see Lars back in the team. See, you know, people, highly influential people, making other people happy. It's good to see. Leon know that they have to beat us. We probably should have checked if they did beat uh, if they did beat uh, PSG in the midweek game. Did they? They drew 1-1. You know, it's not the easiest game to bounce back off. And we did draw in the midweek game as well. And we have a bad, obviously, as captain here in this game here because we do not have... Um, who don't we have starting here? Sander Bloom, obviously, is out and suspended. Their team looks very much the same team that just started against us. Uh, I'm going to say it is the same team that started against us. Uh, but they've gone 4-2-4, four four, so they're bringing in one Lokerman, I think. Um, we'll have a look at who he is. That's a very good team. We don't have to do anything else here. We are going to go against the 4-2-4 four four and do that. I'm going to not press there. I did bring one Lokerman in. He does look pretty good. I think that he's on loan from Liverpool. That makes me a little bit more scared. I think that's a very smart move by Leon. We, we, we haven't conceded in X amount of games. They've gone, all right, we need to score with two behind, 4-4-2. Four, four, um, I like that a lot. That also makes me um, that also makes me want to go and actually mirror them in 4-4-2, four, four, knowing that we get a goal should be okay. The 4-3-3 four, four, three, three hasn't played a 4-4-2 four, four, system yet, so this is also going to be a good test for that. But um, I also think we should be able to out-dominate the middle of the park, which is also good too. Be interesting to see how this game goes. Um, how important is a bad... Oh, he's an outstanding player. Um, we have to deal without his absence. If we had Bloom here, I would say this is pretty much all but over. The fact that we don't have Bloom, Hillian's playing in a role that he's comfortable in but not great in, um, and they've gone 4-2-4, makes me a little bit nervy. If they get the first one early, I'm not going to be comfortable in this game at all. And there is a highlight early doors here. And Saints has picked it up. And he's running at people from it deep. And Saints now going with it. Beats another one. He's in the box. He cuts it. Ladder, but Baz made a save. And I tell you what, inside two minutes, they could have been one new up on the break. And it is a bad with a fantastic save to keep it at nil-nil. we just got to get through 90 minutes. I want to be playing Juve. I want to have the opportunity to try and knock Juve out. Oh, Fred, how are you? His favourite clip is the duck. It's a great clip, that one. Duck does the duck. Anyhow, Leon has started pretty well. We're dominating the ball, though, and that's all that matters. Uh, what? Why is the duck clip not there? That's really odd. Anyway, 20 minutes play. We're dominating the ball now. 63% possession, and I don't care about highlights here. You know, this, this episode's already gone long enough since why I'm on key as well. But um, look, yeah, I, we do not care. We don't want to see a goal go in, and we don't want to really see highlights. But when we do, we hopefully it's for us. They go long. We're good in the air. And Ren Sheng heads straight to Sands, and his ball in there is picked off there by Ferreira, but it falls back to him again. I've got that feeling that the 4 2 4 just is winning their fair share of the ball back in the secondary press. And that's a good ball in. Lokerman blocked by Ferreira. We just don't know how to concede in 4 3 3. It's another massive block, and Lars has taken down on the halfway line. It could have been 1 0 Leon for the second time, and between the bad Ferreira and the back four, we've done enough. We're not playing particularly bad, we're just not yet the score. 40 odd minutes played, approaching half time. We'd love to get into half time at 0 0. Would love to get in up 1 0 as well. Anyhow, a Gildo now on the ball, looking forward, has options here. Ronald now needs a runner. Ibe, Jefferson, Ibe main behind, behind him, didn't pick it. Lars is there, that's game over. It's 1 0, it's Lars through the middle. And Jefferson with a great ball. Lars is finished in a big game. It's 44 minutes played, it's 1 0, it's 3 0 on aggregate. Semi against the runner play, semi not. Um, against the runner play in terms of the highlights we've seen, but in terms of the stats, not. Great ball from Jefferson. Lars makes it, the run. And in the form we're in, we're probably not conceding. And I've said that as we, there's a highlight here. Jose Ramiyun now on the ball. Back in the hilly, and he gives it back to them. I just said that. You watch us concede our first goal in seven games or something. Laddam's in, this is a goal. A bad, what a save. Never say stupid shit like that again, Damien. Keep those thoughts in your head because football managers can listen to you. Anyway, ball in, headed, a bad with another big save to keep it at 1 0, and that's going to be half time. Between our goalkeeper and the back four, we've done enough. I'm delighted so far. 
And with 45 minutes left to play, Leon need four and a half to send us out. And to be fair, the 4-2-4 has actually found its chances against us as well. A bad on Mori's level? Well, a bad way better than Mori. Mori was no good at um at mess. Anyway, Laddam's in here. Efforts blocked again by Ferreira. Great block. We're kind of doing what Barcelona did to us, which is block everything from we had no right to. You, you, I think the question you're trying to ask there, Dim, in the chat, is a bad better than on Oglev's level? Yes, I agree. I think he is on Oglev's level. Anyway, Hannibal has just got himself sent off. Right. Panic stations, boys. 65 minutes play, and Hannibal gets himself sent off. Um... I feel like we're going to go to that. I'm going to go to that. And I'm actually going to just focus play down the left-hand side. And do that. I'm not going to change anything else but that. I'm also going to make the change here to get inverted wing back on defend. Not strikeless just yet. Think if we can play like this and get to the 75th minute, we can part the bus and probably be safe. Just kind of came out of nothing anyway. Time ticking away here, which is very good. Very good at the minute. Time is massively ticking away. That is good. Um, I'm going to get Musa in as well. Get him to do that. And I'm going to get Molgard in for Hillian, who's just played his heart out. Bang. feel that's all we need to do. I'm also going to move us to Balanced. Time has ticked away. Time has ticked away, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to win 1-0 with 10 men. It's another game we haven't conceded in. That is sensational. In the end, 1-0, 3-0 in aggregate. Uh, you would say Leon are probably a bit stiff to not draw slash win that game. That's a game that we would have in the 4-4-2 be screaming at the match engine. Maybe there's something about 4-3-3 in the match engine that just provides blocks for shots and doesn't give goals where the 4 2 gets goals but a lot of shots get blocked. No, no, in the end, we only made two changes as well. I thought I've made three, so sorry, Dim. One sub, the kill time was the right thing to do. But we did win the game. We did have better of the game, it does seem, by the expected goal ratio, which makes no sense. Can we see the shots that we had? Analytical data? Mm, I think they're saying that we had a shot that was blocked that really should have gone in, but we did not see. And a couple around. Okay, so maybe our quality of chance was better. Anyway, a bad man of the match has to be said. When push comes to sub, we have a pretty well-class goalkeeper because he baits some saves. That's absolutely fantastic. And we are one new winners, 3 on the night, and we will be playing Juve, barring some upsets, in the quarterfinal of the Europa League. So Bayern got through. Milan missed out just, and Atletico got through. And Chelsea won 3 new at home to get through, which is not nice. I would have loved Celtic to knock them out. Uh, but it is what it is. Hannibal was suspended for one match. Uh, don't appeal. A bad impresses. We'll praise that. I just want to see the um, the actual showing that we actually got him. It's 112 minutes since a bad's last conceded, ladies and gentlemen. 812 minutes. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm pleased. I remain confident keeping you in the club. Uh, I'm rather not disgusted right now. Bang, done. 812 minutes since a bad has last conceded. That's A, the back four being monstrous. Because have a look at that. How many games is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games in a row without conceding. Yeah, we're not scoring a lot, but if you're not conceding, you ain't losing. And in the end, pretty happy with how that has gone. Um, we then got Juve in this list. Juve not played. We do get Juve. Did I miss him? Oh, there they are. They drew 1-1. One, one. So for whatever reason, away from home, they are not doing well in Europe across all competitions, Juve. But at home they are. We get Juve away at the um, away at the Juventus Stadium first up. I I prefer that, to be fair, only because it means that I know if we get an away goal, we'll keep them scoreless. We can just have to win a game at, you know, in Denmark to make me get to a semi-final. I don't mind that, playing away from home in a big tie. Yeah, playing at home is good because it gives you an extra half an hour if it goes extra time to probably score an away goal to get through. But I also don't mind this way because it kind of lets you know at home exactly what you need to do in front of your own fans. Anyway, from Damo and everybody else here, that is the end of episode 140. Went to the quarterfinal in the second, for the second time in the Europa League at the second time of asking. Only been in this competition twice. Both times we've made a quarterfinal appearance. 
Last time, we lost to Chelsea. We got absolutely pummeled um, in a 15-minute period where the game was free or we ended up losing 7-3. This time, though, we haven't conceded in nine. Hopefully 10, 11, 12, however long it is until we play Juve. And we can hopefully take that form into a game against the mighty Italian Giants. And who knows, with two clean sheets, we could go through to our first ever European semi-final. This is the moments we live for in the save. The chance to do stuff that we haven't done. We're going to have a chance against one of the biggest teams in the world. And I'll see you then for episode 141. I'll catch you later. Thank you and goodbye.